All right, let me pin it. All right, everybody, this is Shanita Cleveland. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Make sure you let me know where you're watching from. You guys see what's in the pen? Uh, this is a non-denominal church. It is in Fort Worth, Texas. The pastor is also a resident of the city of Fort Worth. And so I'm gonna let you guys uh, hear from Eric what he wants uh, to tell you and then we'll go from there. So make sure you speak up, Eric. All right, smash this, smash this. Hey, this is Bishop Miles, Bishop Eric Miles. Uh, first of all, I don't want what happened to us to happen to anybody else, and that's the reason I reached out um, to, to smash the topic. Uh, purchase a, purchase a uh, building plan back in 2020. Got the plans permitted. I mean, got the plans all filled out, completed, hired a builder. Don't want to give the name out, told not to do that. But I hired a builder. He was going to charge $210,000 to complete a 4,000 square foot church at this location. Paid him $45,000, $45,000, and then $85,000 to complete the building. Well, as you can see, this is what's left because uh, not too long ago, the, the city of Fort Worth shut him down because he failed to get the permits that he's supposed to get for the foundation. Failed to get the permits that he's supposed to get for the plumbing. Y'all see the plumbing? Look at that piping. Y'all look at that leaning, that piping. So they shut him down, and once they informed me, I contacted him and told him that I'm going to get a new builder, and I need the funds that I gave him to be refunded, and that's when he went ghost. Went ghost? Yes, went ghost. He stopped answering phone calls, stopped answering text messages. Can we see? He stopped which allowed me to sue. This right here is the Shepherd Law Firm that we had to hire as a church. Never had to do this before. And this is the company, as you can see. We had to sue him to try to recoup the funds that he I took still, you're moving. and ran off with. This is the company that did this? This yes. is the company? This is, this is the, and then this is the law firm that you This is the law firm that the church had to hire. Y'all see the date? Uh, so they started with the vision in 2014, and then in 2020, they hired this contractor in 2020 to begin the work. And so uh, he did say that the time has passed because he has been working with the legal process uh, to this, as you can see. Uh, again, okay, go ahead, Eric. Yes, and, and the, the attorney told me that, they were going, that he's going to try to recoup the funds via lawsuit, and um, if he can't recoup the funds... Um, then, of course, there are other means that he have to take against the company. But I don't want what happened to us to happen to anybody else. That's the reason I'm reaching out. I don't want him changing his name. Um, he already don't answer his phone calls, emails, or text messages. Um, the business that I went to is in Dallas. Um, it's no longer there. Um, so I don't know if he left the state, left the country, have no idea. But I don't want anybody else to hire him, especially another church entity or a housing project or Anybody, I don't want anybody to hire this man um, because if he did a church like this, uh, there's no telling what he'll do to somebody else who hired him. He ran off with our, our hundred seventy-six thousand dollars, and uh, this is what's left of us. And we we just want to get the word out to everybody out there, so it won't happen to no one else. Okay, uh, tell me, can you tell us why you um, hired this person in the first place? Well, here's the deal. The recommendations are good at times. We, we know that. Recommendations are good. You get some good recommendations from fr family, friends. I happen to get a recommendation from a cousin. Don't want to mention his name right now. He feel bad. He's still talking about how bad he feels because he said we wouldn't be in this situation had he not recommended. That's neither here nor there. I talked to the guy personally, so he, he, he got me as well. Uh, smiley face, good handshake, talking about what he's going to do for the church. He's going to even go above and beyond for the church, and he ran off with our money. Um, so uh, for those of you who may know of him, hey, tell him he's forgiven. We got to forgive him, right? Got to. God going to forgive us. Nobody's perfect. And if he asks for forgiveness, we're going to forgive him. But we still want the church money. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna forgive you, shake your hand, but I still want the church money. Oh, okay, yeah, because again, it took you guys from 2014 to 2020 to get all of the cash to begin the build. Small church, small church, 50, 60 members, 20 of them faithful tithers. <laughs> so, so it took a while to get to build up 170 some thousand dollars um, for a small church. So to have this, have, you know, impact us like this, there are members that are ticked off. And they should be. You know, and I take, like I said, I take the blame for it because I trusted um, an entity that, that um, shook my hand, smiled in my face, but then ran off with the church money. And now we're left right here having to do online service until we recoup the funds or get the necessary funds to finish building the church. So basically you guys thought you'd be in the building by now? Absolutely. Absolutely. We should have been. We hired them in 2020, um, October. So... Almost two years now, year and a half right now. He said it'd take eight months. Well, oh, Pastor Eric is his name, Pastor Eric. Yeah, people are saying, you know, he's going to get it, you know, um, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, you guys are going to get a blessing. I saw that. You guys are going to get a tenfold back. Yeah, that's our prayer. That's our prayer. We want to get into the sanctuary. Church where no perfect people are allowed. Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I started at Pastor Evans, Tony Evans at Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. Oh, great. That was, well, I was baptized in the Baptist church uh, back in the country in the rural Texas. But that was when you had to pull the board up in the floor oh, and go down. Way yeah, it's way back, mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I did get rebaptized at uh, Oak Cliff Bible oh, Fellowship. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not a member uh, anymore. I do not pay tithes. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so there was a fence actually he said there was a fence uh that you can see the metal do y'all see those metal posts right there that was a fence uh but they have come and taken it away most of it the majority of it you can see that uh, now i'm not a construction expert okay but uh they did do some underground plumbing y'all if y'all can let us know if anybody here knows of someone in construction or knows you know what they are looking at if you can you can put it in the comments that would be great thank y'all so much uh, it fell. Was this standing? Let me, before I say yes. that, this it, was standing. All of this was standing, right. It, it fell due to the wind. Due to the and, wind. And uh, the weather. That's, that's how long he left it out here. Uh, any construction experts, if y'all can tell us what we're looking at, that would be great. And since then, he did mention earlier that he's having a problem with people dumping. Um, on his land and as you can see there's a party somewhere on the property broken glass everywhere beer bottles all over the place uh, so this is you know people's hard-earned money that is somebody has done this to poor thing uh, so all of this was standing thank y'all so much for tuning in please hit share again uh, he doesn't want you guys to encounter this person. Uh, Y'all work very hard. Working families, raise your hand in the comments. Working families, check in. All right, all right. Okay, so is there anything you would like to say uh, before we get offline? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing this story. Um, this is protect not just us, of course, but for anybody else that may run into a guy that would do this. Um, want to protect the city, the state, county, but he may go out the state, who knows, but hey, thank you for sharing this master yeah, smash do, That's right, he may go out the state, y'all, people do travel. Absolutely. When they get in trouble in one place, you yeah, know, they, they leave and go to another. Yeah, they leave and go to another place, so protect yourself at all times. Yes, thank you, thank you guys. All right, say amen. All right, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Uh, Walter activated the spirit inside. Let the church say amen. All right, thank y'all for tuning in. This is Shanita Cleveland reporting the news right here in Fort Worth, Texas.